Hi, my name is Marcelo and this video will learn how to kill process in Wipepath. So there are some ways to kill process and I will show the more easier ways. So first let's click on the activities and let's search for the activity kill process. And basically this activity kills a process indicated. So let's drag this activity to our project. And now basically we have to indicate the name of the process that we want to be closed. So I have here the Microsoft Edge browser open. So get, let's get the name of the process of this browser. So let's do here right click. Let's click on task manager. And now we can see here the Microsoft Edge process. So let's open it. And now let's do for example here right click. Let's click on properties and now we can see here the name of the process. So let's just copy the name of the process. Let's close the task manager. And now here first we have to open double quotes. And now let's paste here the name of the process of the browser. And now to see if the browser is closed, let's run our automation. And as we can see, the Microsoft Edge browser was closed. Now let's imagine that you want to close multiple processes. You can, for example, use one kill process activity for each process to be closed, or you can use another method that I think it's better. So, for example, I have here the Excel, Word and Microsoft Edge browser open. And now I will show how we can close this process with just one kill process activity. So first, let's use the activity assign. And basically, we will create a variable that will store uh, the process names of each one of these process. So now let's go to variables and let's create a variable. So let's define the name our processes name. And now variable type of type, so array of string because uh, this variable will store multiple processes name. And now let's click on OK. And now here let's define the value of this variable. So let's call here the variable. And now let's define so uh, the process name. So this variable will store the process name of each one of these process. So first let's initialize uh, the array. So let's type in here new string. Let's open parentheses and now here let's define the process name. So first let's get the process name of the Excel. So let's open the task manager and now here we can see the Excel. So let's do here right click. Let's click on uh, properties here and we can see here the name of the process. So let's just copy and now let's paste here. Now here comma, let's open the double quotes again and now let's get uh, the name of the process of the word. So let's here click, right click, properties and here he is the name of the process related to the word. Let's paste it here and now in last, so the edge, so we already know it's MS Edge and so now let's click on OK. So our array already has uh, the name of the process. So now we have to create a loop. So a for each. So let's click on activities and let's use the for each activity. And this activity will iterate each value of our array. So first we have to say uh, the value, the variable that has values to be iterated. So it's this one. So let's paste it here. And now here on the properties of the for each activity on type argument, let's choose the option stream because uh, the values of our variable, of our array are of type string. And now let's drag inside of the for each our kill process activity. And now here on process name, let's delete. So this text and let's type in here item. And basically with item we have a success to the value of the value iterated. So now if we execute our automation it should close our tree process. So let's run our automation to see if it's working well.
And as you can see, our automation closed the three process with success. So I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more RPA related videos. Bye bye.